to see you again. Good to see you. It's good to see you in your new digs. It's Isn't so it lovely? I made yes. it to Broadway, baby. You did. You did. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, last time we spoke over at the, at the old place, uh -huh. um, you uh, had not yet won your historic sixth Tony no. for playing Billie Holiday at Emerson's Bar and Grill. Yeah. Um, Congratulations Thank on you. that. No one's ever won six Tonys before in all four performance categories. Um, uh, now it's you gonna... gave me some notes, and Did I, think I? That's, yeah, and I think really? that's what got me. I here. pushed you over yeah, the top. Yeah, I think so. I've got some vocal warm-up exercises for you now. <laughs> I was very fascinated by Mr. Really? Daniel's segment because being a singer, I've, I've got some too. So maybe we need. Do you have any? any what, what, what's yours? Well, I mean, mine aren't nearly as fascinating as his. Yes. You don't have to stick your head between your knees. Well, or I, like that? I'm not going to do that on national television. No. <laughs> No, um, we do. Um, uh, she brews a proper cup of coffee in a copper coffee pot. Oh, that's nice. And I do. Mama made me mash my M and M's. Oh wow. Which is really cruel of Mama to do, mm -hmm. but it's a good warm up. A what to do to die today? A minute or two to two? A thing distinctly hard to say, but hard still to do? Woo! A little bit to two, a twenty to two, a rat to ta 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 ta. You? <laughs> you know that one? You know that one? I don't. But that's no. fantastic. That's a good one. Yeah, that's yeah, very yeah. Good. yeah. Um, so uh, for the people out there who don't know who Billie Holiday is, yeah, um, there are a few people yes, out there. Maybe yes. some of the younger people yes, out there. Tell people who she was. And well, she was a little an, bit of her story. She was an incredible um, uh, jazz singer in the uh, '30s, '40s, and uh, '50s. Uh, African American lady, and uh, really was an incredible song stylist, unlike. Any, anything anyone had ever seen, but heartbreak, she, heartbreaking voice, heartbreaking voice, very small voice. It was a singular sound, mm -hmm. um, but she also had a really rough, rough life. She was a prostitute when she was a kid. She was became a drug addict and mm -hmm. and an alcoholic. Died at the age of 44 uh, from cirrhosis of the liver and mm -hmm. heart failure and all this stuff. But she was an amazing, iconic. Singer. So you played this part on Broadway, and now it, uh, the, it's on HBO, the Broadway show, and you're yeah. going to take it to London. I understand. I'm as taking well. it to London this summer. I'm very excited. Never How do you <laughs> for a, for a, playing a character like that, uh, and also a brilliant singer in her own right? Right. How do you get into that character? Is it through? Is it through her biography, through her tragic story? Are you? Is it her voice? Well, or the way she spoke. What especially is it because Billie Holiday had such an incredibly specific sound, and I'm a soprano, and I don't have a voice that's anywhere like hers. So it I had sounds a hard... like you actually do. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had to find my way into that mm -hmm. voice, and I realized when I was studying all the great clips of Billie Holiday that she sounded a lot when she was speaking like my grandmother, uh, my grandmother Nana, who would say, you know, stuff like, you know, Audrey, oh, get your feet off the chest. Of Field and, 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 you know, I, oh, well, 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 get over here, girl. I mean, that's how my grandmother would talk. <laughs> and I used to make fun of my grandmother, and I would, of course, get in trouble for doing it. Yeah. So when I was. But it eventually paid off. Well, yeah. So yes. all of a sudden I realized mm -hmm. Billie Holiday sounds like Nana. Uh -huh. And so once I started going through my Nana's voice, I was able to sort of find Billie. So I have my Nana to thank for helping me find Billie Holiday, actually. Well, one of the things. One of, the, one of the beautiful things you've done is that for your Tony speech uh, for winning for Lady Day at Emerson's Bar and Grill, as you talked about wanted to use your art, using your notoriety, to sort of point at some of the great African American artists that people have forgotten, who haven't gotten the notoriety that they deserve. Right. And now you're working on a new musical yeah, this called musical, Shuffle, Shuffle Along. Along. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Which is. Yeah. Um, um, for those of you, it's, it's based on uh, the story. It's, it's about the making of the actual show, Shuffle Along, which premiered on Broadway in 1921. Mm -hmm. And it was the first show ever written, directed, produced, and starring African American people. Um, in 1921. In 1921. All those positions. Yes. Wow. It was the first time that there was ever jazz in a Broadway show. It was the first time there was an actual sort of love interest between two African American people in a show, because before that, it would have been sort of kicked out of town or audiences would have rioted. Or or it would have been done like as a minstrel show or something. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Like that. And uh, the score is by UB Blake and oh, Nobel Sissel. Great UB Blake. Yes. Huh? So Wild About yeah. Harry. Wild About Harry was from that show. Really? Act, I didn't know that. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And so our, our production, which was written um, by George Wolfe and, and it's also got tapped by Savion Glover, which has been <laughs> really amazing <laughs> trying to learn how to tap. <laughs> at the you're, age learning, of, you're learning. <laughs> yes, at the age of mm -hmm, I'm learning how to tap, and it's been amazing. <laughs> oh, you don't look a day over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait till you see me tap. Yeah, <laughs> I'm much older than that when I tap. Um, and so um, it's telling the story of the show. The and there behind... were some amazing people in this original production in 1921. Absolutely. People at, at the time, there was an unknown little girl, basically a 16 year old girl named Frieda McDonald, who would become Josephine Baker. Uh, Florence Mills was in it, Paul Robeson was in mm -hmm. it. Um, and it's also responsible for the reason why we have a, a, a that 63rd, 63rd Street is a one-way street because the traffic was so immense, people coming to see the show on 63rd. And I understand it was yeah. put over on 63rd because they wouldn't allow an all uh, African American production on Broadway. Yeah, it was, you know, it was dicey the way they kind of came in. It was a sort of a dicey producer who was like, well, we've got this old dilapidated theater here. You guys can be there. Yeah. But it was also the first time that the, balc the uh, orchestra section of a Broadway show was integrated. So African Americans were allowed to sit in the orchestra section. It's, uh, you know, and famous people like George Gershon was there lots of times, and Al Jolson, and, and all these people came to see it and it introduced sort of the Harlem Renaissance. And so this is the story of that. So show. that's 1921. Yeah. So that's, uh, what are we talking about here? 96 years or 95 years ago, yeah. the show premiered. Yeah. And now, on Broadway right now, you've got African American productions, Lion King, On Your Feet, yeah. Eclipsed. Hamilton and soon shuffle along. Color purple. Oh, color purple. Yeah. Why do you think that diversity is successful on Broadway, but not that embraced in Hollywood? I don't know. I mean, I, I, I wish I knew, and this is a stellar year in terms of what we've got going on on Broadway, and some years aren't as stellar. Um, I, I hope that there's a dialogue that happens now, and, and hopefully we can get more people of color, of all different colors, in the room to quote Hamilton, where it happens, so that they can be in charge of making some of the decisions to get uh, more stories about people of color or just people of color in general um, more in the uh, Hollywood's mindset. You know? Well, that would be nice. Yeah. That would be lovely. <laughs> like Audrey, that. thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you. Thank you for having it's me. It's always lovely to have you. <laughs>